So here we are at the end then. Um, I was going to leave this as a video without me talking, but I couldn't help myself when I got to this point. So um, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, video. It's a bit different for me. Usually I sort of um, break it up and talk throughout uh, probably too much, but I thought I'd sort of leave it um, leave it alone in this one. Um, so this has been a nice kit, a bit of a sort of been a, like a quick build and um, uh, a way to try out some new techniques with a bit of the free handing on the um, camouflage and things like that. And all in all, it's very nice. A um, uh, good kit here from Hobby Boss. I think I paid around nine pounds for this, which is um, remarkable given the sort of way the kit's gone together and the amount of detail you get in there. I just added some Edward seat belts, as you probably have seen in the video, and um, a few bits of uh, metal barrel for the gun barrels. And uh, I'm very pleased with it. I think it's, uh, it's a nice looking model. Nice scheme as well. Um, a bit different for a D9 as, as opposed to with all the mottling or um, some of the late war uh, colours, like the um, brown ROM 81 etc which uh, can make it look a bit different this is similar to the sort of fw 190s uh the a series um yeah all in all i'm very happy with it so um i'm very pleased with the way that the um canopy uh works but um already i can see with moving parts on a static display model it's not good because i've already got it a bit looser than it should be because i keep um moving it back and forward um, so I'm beginning to waffle on here, so I'll, I'll leave the um, pictures that I've just taken to tell the rest of the story. So um, hopefully you like that video. Uh, if you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, check out some of my other videos, there's plenty more um, on the go there. And there's also plenty more to come, so um, stay tuned to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.